There is a reason there was never a orbiter around Mercury before Messenger. It was deemed rather difficult. You have to somehow remove a delta V of about 10 kilometers a second. You have to survive, if you're an orbiter, not only proximity to the sun, where the sun is as much as 11 times brighter than it is at 1 AU, but the high temperature from the day side surface of Mercury. And Messenger had some superb engineers who did both of those things. So the spacecraft uh, had to satisfy uh, uh, those two challenges simultaneously. It had to be low enough in dry mass so that it could carry enough propellant to do the maneuvers required to achieve the delta V. It had to survive the high temperatures in orbit, particularly on the day side of the planet closest to the sun. It had to uh, produce power from solar arrays that could survive high temperatures as well, as well. and it had to transmit those data uh, even given that the antenna to do so would be subjected to extreme variations in temperature over the lifetime of the mission. As long as the engineering is superb, uh, there is no science that the science team could speak about without uh, a lot of very clever engineers having invested decades of work uh, to make this mission happen.